Hello, good afternoon, welcome to Cooking Uncovered. My name is Miriam and tonight I'm in the mood for, for Alfredo sauce. And uh, one of my students at uh, work, Ronnie, said, Mrs. Boris, do an Alfredo recipe, do an Alfredo sauce. So tonight I'm going to do that. But before I do that, I just want to, I'm just having a little bit of Dubonnet, which is my favorite drink in the whole world with a twist, um, a wedge of lemon. But I did want to show you this, that my daughter found this amazing little gadget. Now, believe it or not, these actually work. You know how you take the lemon out and you use a wedge for your tea or a wedge for your Dubonnet or, or a wedge, um, like half a lemon in your salad, and then the rest of the lemon, you're thinking, okay, what do I do with it? This actually keeps used lemons or half lemons fresh. This, these lemons have been in here now for a week and they're as good as, they're as good as new, they're just as fresh. So here's a little tip from my daughter Alexandra about her lemon keeper or professionals. I don't know. Fabulous, fabulous gadget just on the FYI for you. So tonight, okay, here we go. Alfredo sauce. Now, there are many ways to make Alfredo sauce. This is not your low-fat version because I am using a full heavy cream, which is your, it could be your whipping cream. I'm using cream cheese. Now you can use a low-fat cream cheese, but I'm not going to use a lot. I'm only going to use one tablespoon. And I am using butter and olive oil. Now normally people don't start with butter and olive oil, but I love the combination. So I'm going to start with about two tablespoons of olive oil in my hot pan. All right. Now I'm just going to get that um, hot. And to that, I just want to add my butter. About, you want about... Um, Oh, about two tablespoons of butter and you're going to just saute that ever so slightly. Now to that, about two tablespoons of chopped shallots. So in to go the shallots. Now if you don't have shallots, which of course looks like these, if you don't have those, you can definitely use onions because I've used onion, onions before and they're delicious. Also to that, I want to add about one clove of garlic because I've already peeled my garlic. And as, if you know me well, you know that my um, garlic peeling prowess is terrible. I, I can't do it. I hate doing it. So I try to get everybody else in the house to peel my garlic for me. So I'm just going to quickly dice that garlic. Just quickly dice it very small, just like the shallots. And I'm going to pop that in as well, because I do like the garlic in my Alfredo. Now, once that has all sautéed, and I've got this heat... This is a medium-low heat, not really high, because I don't want to burn my shallots. And I have to tell you, before I, before I did this, before I did this, I already um, boiled my pasta. So here on the side are two types of pasta ready to go. So it depends what we want to use. This is my corkscrew, that Italian um, macaroni, which is called uh, Celentani. Celentani. I love it. And this... Is so cool. This is a corn, corn um, spaghetti. So we can use whatever. I'm not sure what we're going to use. So let's put that over there because I'm going to reconstitute it. When it comes time to do things, I'm going to reconstitute it. Okay. Now my shallots have sa sautéed ever so slightly. I don't want them to go brown. Now I'm going to add my one tablespoon of cream cheese. Just it's the normal uh, cream cheese that's going to go in. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of the heavy cream. And um, today, this, as I said, this is not your low fat. I can do a low fat one, which I would use. Um, I would use a skim milk, and then I'd use a roux with skim milk, and then I'd add some other stuff. But this is not. So to that, we're going to add about half of this, half of the that heavy cream. Now, the trick here, the trick here is to melt the cream cheese. And to reduce, we're going to reduce that heavy cream to a uh, thicker consistency. So you want it to reduce by about one third. So you you started with let's say half a cup of uh, the heavy cream. You want to reduce it to about um, like not a quarter of a cup, but just a little bit more than a quarter of a cup. Uh, right here on the side, I already have my grated uh, uh, Romano cheese. Pecorino, actually, Romano cheese. That's already grated. We're going to put that some of that in. And I have, for a garnish, I've got my fresh 
uh, parsley out of the garden, and I have my fresh chives, so you can use either or or, whichever you like. So this is going to be absolutely delicious. So here's my sauce, and it's reducing nicely. Now it's, you can see it's becoming nice and thick. I'll show you this. Absolutely. And this is what it looks like in the pan. Can you see that? It's starting to reduce, and that's exactly what you want. And the cream cheese is melting, which, of course, you want that as well. Mmm. The smell is absolutely divine. All right, now, on this, this is my boiling water. So I'm going to reconstitute either the uh, cialantini, um, and my Italian is terrible, or the corn, uh, the corn uh, spaghetti. So I think I'm going to reconstitute this corn spaghetti. It's already been done, eight minutes, boiling water. I took it out and it's sitting there ready to go. Now, to this, I want to add, um, this is a quarter cup of the, of the cheese, and I want so I want to add about a half a cup of the uh, Romano cheese and some black pepper. And this has got to go down, black pepper, and of course some salt. Now, we're just going to stir that around. Oh my goodness, that was yum, 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 yummy. Now for this, I've reconstituted my pasta, so I'm going to pull my pan over and put the whole thing, including some of the liquid, in the pan. Now if I need this to be more watery, I'll add more water. I'll add more pasta water. So I'm just going to toss this ever so slightly. Turn off your heat at this point, because it's ready to go at this point. And I am going to add just a little bit more pasta water, so a quarter cup of pasta water to let that soak in. Ooh, that's delicious. Delicious. And to that, we on the top, I do want to add my fresh parsley, which will be, look just beautiful. So we're just going to quickly chop the parsley. There we go. Now, ooh, lovely. Okay, fresh parsley in. And seriously, folks, that is how easy Alfredo sauce is. And then you just give it a stir, and down it goes onto your plate. And that is enough. Well, that would be enough for my husband, but that's about twice as much as I would need. So, you would just look at, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just gorgeous? So that is the corn. I'll tell you what that is. That is the corn spaghetti pasta, so gluten-free, which is kind of cool, right? This is, my my friend Janine is going to love this, so take a little bite. Mm. Mm. Oh. That is delicious. So on a rainy, rainy spring night, this is my Alfredo sauce, and this is dinner in under... 15 minutes. So I hope you enjoy this and have a good night. And I know that Carl and I are really going to enjoy this. So thanks for watching. Bye.